person. Okay, so perhaps we we can start. Sure. Okay, so let's start. So good morning, everyone, and good afternoon for some of you. Thank you for participating in the Acatimio today. So welcome to our last day of the Acatimio. So we hope you will enjoy and have a very productive workshop session today. And uh, for the 10 years anniversary of Timio, Mopsia will prepare for you, will surprise you uh, in the early afternoon. So we won't share a lot on it. So just let's stay connected later on today for this uh, very nice surprise. So now I will let Sofia um, to introduce the, the agenda of the day. Thank you, Sandrine. So here, um, today is the last day of the Hakatimio. And we will begin now with a reminder of the restitution. And uh, I will also present the Roteco website for the ones that don't know it. And you will have after time to work in your team. And from around 12 to 1, we will have a break, the lunch. And as Sandrine has said, after the lunch at one, we will have this small Sandrine, uh, <laughs> this small <laughs> surprise that Sandrine and her team uh, has prepared for the 10 years of Timio. And of course, the most important moment after is the moment where you are going to present your work to the jury. So on the next slide, just a quick reminder regarding the criterials that the jury will uh, evaluate you, the solution, the restitution, and the implementation. And regarding the restitution. So um, all the resources that you are creating, the documents, presentations, video, whatever you have created, should be deposited on Roteco. And uh, uh, they are Creative Commons, of course. Uh, so we want to show to the community what we have done in three days. And I will explain you how to do it in Roteco. And uh, as I said just before, from uh, 4.30 to 5, each team will have three minutes to present its works, followed by two minutes of question from the jury. And after we will have 30 minutes around of deliberation regarding the, 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 the works that you have done. And in parallel, Evgenia Bonet will present um, activity of RT2T2. And at 5.30, we will have the winner's name and the prizes award. So we are very happy to have you. So I will just stop my share screen because I need now to go to the Roteco to explain you how you need to publish your activities. Give me just one second. Okay. Perfect. Melissa, do you see the Roteco website? Yes, I do. Perfect. Thank you so much. So, uh, I will explain you the DNA of Roteco, and after we are going to explain uh, how you are going to publish the activities or the resources that you have created. So the Roteco project, in fact, it's a project where we are creating a community of teachers, teachers from primary, secondary, high school regarding robotics, um, informatics, computer thinking, etc. Uh, we are many um, institutions that we are collaborating together uh, to uh, have a credibility regarding uh, the teachers, because of course we need to create this ecosystem where we give resources to them, 
but we also need to train them, okay? And it is the training places where uh, the teachers can be advertised that our project exists. So now, the platform is divided in many uh, parts. The first one is the most important because it's the one where teachers are going to share the materials that they have done in their trainings. If I take any kind of example, for example, this one, this one is a project square that has shared with us, is with unplugged activities. And as you can see, they share the material, what they have done, and you always have the um, attachments that you can put. Uh, you also can uh, upload and download videos. For example, there are some teachers that like to explain uh, in a video what they have done. So you can also do this kind of uploading. The platform is in three languages for the moment. We have it in French, German, and Italian. And we are hoping to have it also in English um, soon. After we have the course part, uh, where we inform the teachers the trainings that we have. For example, this one can be maybe uh, nice for you to know. We have the MOOC, so it's an online uh, training regarding Timio. And here you have all the informations. Um, now we have this, uh, this MOOC in French, German, and soon in Italian, right? Sandrine, I don't know if the Italian is already there or if it will come soon. But in any case, we are trying to promote it um, in the most language that we can. And of course, we always have the links where you can find the information. Because in fact, the Roteco platform, we take the info from other websites, for example. The news. So on the news, it's like, you know, we try to put um, the latest news that we found. For example, when we have a Timio uh, webinar, we can put it here so the people can see the rediffusion. For example, the last Timio webinar, we have it put it here. But of course, we you have also data regarding other robots. It's not only Timio. And I need to show you, for example, last year, we meet Thomas. Uh, at uh, uh, Les Ludoviales, and uh, there we were uh, very happy because we could interview him. So it's also a place where we can share, uh, interview people that are on the domain of robotics. And after we have the events part, so here we try also to promote, um, to, 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 to make something active, to promote this kind of activities regarding the teachers. So for example, the Hackatimio of today was also shared on our website. This week we will be in a physical event called here in Switzerland, Swiss Didact Burn. And of course we publish also the webinars that we co-create with Mopsia. For example, we are you are more than welcome to come to the next one that it's on the 1st of December and it's regarding art. So please, if you want to come, you can subscribe, you have the info. And the last part is the story part, is where we promote projects around the world. Here we have mostly Switzerland, but of course, if you have info of projects that can be uh, shared to the teachers, the good point is that uh, we promote in many languages. So it is accessible to many target of teachers. For example, um, during the last uh, newsletter, we have this article regarding one training that was happening in uh, the SUPSI. So, you know, we try to value the work of the partners and value the work also of the teachers who does this kind of activities. But now the most important is I will show you how you need to upload the activities that you are going to share to be evaluated by the jury. It is very easy. So you need to create an account on Roteco, it's free. And after you have create a new activity. And in fact, the platform will accompany, will follow you in the many steps that you need to do. For example, we are going to do a test. So it, is, it will be very clear for you. I will do, uh, put uh, um, test uh, Katimio. 2021. That will be the title. Here's subtitle. We can put something or not. I will test. 
um a picture i will take any kind of picture what do i have here okay i will put this one and after we need to press the button next oops here what i have a problem uploading my picture okay i put next after i can write okay during the hackatimio we have etc etc so you make a small description about what you have done. You can, of course, upload if you, I don't know, if you want to publish a photo about your team, if you want to, if you have created a video, you can upload it. If you want to put pictures, dividers, etc., you can, of course, co-create. For example, I want to put a divider and I want to put, I don't know, another picture, you can. On the next step, you can put the discipline that uh, your target is. If any of these ones, you think if it is any of these ones, you can put another. And after the level of the school, for example, is it an activity that you think that it's for the small children, uh, for the big children? Uh, do you think that it's more in a school of professionnel than we call them, you can publish. You can select the language, so French, German, Italian. I will select French. Uh, today we are doing a uh, Timio activity, so of course I will put Timio. After you can put the um, how many time it takes the, uh, this activity, but it's not obligatory. When you have an asterisk here, is obligatory. But if you don't have it, you don't need it. And of course, because we are creating by teams, uh, I need to put the name of my co um, uh, co uh, team co co worker. For example, here I will imagine that I was in the team of Melissa, so I will put Melissa. It can be that um, your team members are not on Roteco, so there you can also write the members. For example, I don't know. I can imagine that Lucho was not in Roteco, and I put Lucho. And after you also can put um, key keywords if you decide. For example, I don't know, I have create scratch activities with Timio. So I can put here or I can do unplugged or whatever word you want to put. On the next one, you can put the objectives, uh, the, the goals that your activity has. For example, I don't know, my goal is uh, uh, code with um, Scratch or with Timio or VPL, whatever you want to put, you can put it here. It is not mandatory, again, because here you don't have the asterisk and the material that you use. For example, I don't know if you have created um, an activity with Timio. Is, I imagine that you need to put the Timio. If you use the computer, the computer, What um, if you use Scratch, the Scratch, etc. And after we can go to next. So here is very important because each of your team uh, has for the moment the documents on Google Drive, right? So now you can upload the documents, your brainstorming. It can be nice for the teachers to see, in fact, from where you went until where you arrived. So not only put the final resources, no, but it can be very interesting to put your, uh, your uh, journal, your... Um, uh, the, the process that bring you to the solution. It can be nice. So here I will uh, put, for example, this. And of course, um, you also can put links. Uh, for example, if you have inspirations from other websites or other ideas, or if you took research from other researchers, you can, of course, put the links here um, to share also uh, in your activity. And after, you just need to push Publier activity. And after, your activity and your idea will be on the platform. So I can show you. Here we have the test Hackatimio 2021. So all the teachers can have access. They can like. They can comment. For example, I don't know. Uh, I have tried these activities after the 
after the hackathon, I have tried these activities with uh, my students, it works very well, or look on the point number two, it was difficult because uh, my students um, didn't understood this point. So the goal is that here we can have also an interaction. So we don't, uh, um, uh, uh, we don't need to have the final version of your work here, but it's only to share to the jury and the two community what you have done during this event. So now if you have questions regarding how to upload the activities here, uh, you can ask me, I am here with Melissa, with Lucho that are from the Roteco project. So feel free to take the, the floor and ask questions. And of course, if you find difficulties during the uploading of your activities, you can always ask us and we can come and help you to upload the activities. Uh, maybe one point that I forget to say is that you are many on the team, okay? You are teams of uh, three, four. Uh, so you can choose one person who will subscribe to um, the website and he, he can upload the activity for the team. Okay, just uh, just that. I don't know if I forget something, Melissa or Lucho, something that uh, maybe I forget to say, or if I explain everything well regarding how to upload activities. And please ask questions if you have. I think you were perfectly clear so perfect all good yeah and in any case as i say we are here so you can always ask questions in zoom you press the button and we come through you to help you okay so something uh, maybe we can now split into rooms to continue the working process that they have ah i have uh, marcus yes uh, when will the Roteco website be in English? It's a very good question, and we will love to have it the quicker, the sooner, the best. Uh, but uh, of course, you know how, how it works. So we, we don't have an exact date to tell you, but we are hoping to have it because we know that we have international teachers that also want you know, to share the material that they have. Thank you, Marcus, for your question. And of course, um, having Roteco internationally, it's also good uh, for the sharing. Uh, uh, for example, we can imagine one teacher from wherever the world he is sharing the material that he has and, and translated the, the materials too, because we have a lot of work translating. Uh, so it is accessible in all the languages. Any other question? If not, we can start uh, the workshop of today. Perfect. So, uh, Sandrine, can you help me to tell me in which room uh, I need to put how many groups? But so far, uh, the same as yesterday. Okay. So, so group five and group two. Okay, so I need to do again the affectation. So give me one yeah, moment. Longer, so, absolutely. Desmond, uh, Langer, sorry for my pronunciation. Uh, they will, uh, you will, we will put you all together in the same team. So we'd be the team number two. So we will organize that. The team number five still remain in change and we will uh, create the access for the uh, uh, newcomers for the team number two. Okay, give me one second. Um, so I repeat something and you tell me if it is, uh, so we have Desmond, team two, Right. Leng team two, Lucho team two, uh, yeah, Marcus team two, uh, Marcus yes, and that's it, right? Uh, yes, I think seven is is not uh, here today, right? No, I don't see him. Okay. I have Andrea. I don't know, but wait, okay, that's team two. Now, no, okay. team five, Franck. Huh? I have three francs. That's so funny. Yeah, I'm, I'm locked in with two PCs. 
because I have the environment will, on another one. So I will put the three francs that I have. Exactly. On as, many, as many of my clones you see, move them all in the same room. Okay. Franck and Jessica. And Jessica, this morning, she's not yet here, but yes. as soon as she comes, I will. Yes. Perfect. So now I will open the rooms. Tac. And normally you have access to the room. And uh, uh, Thomas in team two as well. No, team five, sorry, you're correct. Excellent. Okay. Perfect. Uh, Andrea, give us two minutes so we can speak uh, when the participants go to the rooms. I have another phone. Uh, I don't see Melissa. Did she? I can't see either. Uh, ah, can... yeah. Let's Many see. apologies. My Zoom just asked to update. <laughs> Don't no worry. I, I put you on team two. Amelie. Yes, I'm going to go. I'm going to go in just. I mean, uh, one question. Do you think that you need the help from um, we have here, Andrea? Andrea, yes. he's from the team of strips. A strip that would be awesome and then i just wanted to make sure that um uh lang was uh, removed as a co-host uh i don't know if he i removed him from co-host go ahead and do that i think i because i couldn't as as a co-host i couldn't remove him but he was also co-host with the recording but, but that's okay i mean we don't really care I, I don't know how to do it that's my problem oh okay um i can help you right now but are you do you want to stop the recording now in this room we, yeah. we can stop now, it's okay. Okay.